Hello and welcome everybody to my second review. It's your casual clone. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Gaming Greats exclusive Jet Trooper. Now, here he is. I, I happened to find him at my local GameStop. Um, he wasn't very cheap for me, but again, Germany kind of sucks when it comes to action figures. But this is the Jet Trooper right here uh, in the light box. Uh, the box, as you can see, is a little bit, you know, on the rougher side, uh, mainly because he was just kind of hidden in the back. And um, yeah, but he looks quite great. This is him in the, in the little window here. Looks good, at least the figure doesn't seem to be damaged. Um, we'll be taking a closer look at him in a moment. But this is him, he has the Gaming Great sticker at the bottom right here. You can see the name is unfortunately a little bit um, scratched up, but uh, he is still sealed. A little side art right here of the Jet Trooper. Um, I believe that is the, I'm actually not sure what that is. It's not Boba Fett, because that's a different series, I think. I'm not sure, but yeah. So you have a side art right here, the window at the top, not much to see. You have the side art again, and you have a read up. I'm gonna go ahead and read it. Go ahead and pause the video now while I focus onto it. There you go. Um, he's number six in the Gaming Greats line. You can see again, Gaming Great Star Wars Battlefront 2. That's the game that he's originally from. And you can see GameStop charged me 35 bucks for him, which isn't great, but again, Germany doesn't really get this kind of stuff in regularly. You have a Gaming Greats logo at the top right here. And there he is again, nothing much at the bottom. And yeah, this is this is him. Hey guys, this is it. He's out of the box. The 501st Jet Trooper from the Gaming Greats line right here in hand. Um, I already posed him up a little bit. Um, and we're gonna get into the review, the articulation, we're going to cover a little bit of everything. Um, so yeah, he, he's right here uh, in a nice pose that I managed to get him into without him falling over. Um, I have a rotating turntable thingy on the way, so for now I have to rotate him by hand. But here he is, um, he has to be balanced a little bit, but um, he looks great. He's an amazing figure, I understand why everybody's super hyped about him. Um, he looks just great, but uh, yeah. So in terms of what he comes with, not a lot, and not a lot to store his weapons either. So he comes with, as you guys can see, one hand cannon blaster. Forgot what the name is, please don't judge me. Um, I'm gonna get into that later. Uh, he also comes with his jetpack, which is removable. He just pegs into the back right here, and uh, because of that, he has a giant peg hole in his back, which is, for some, bothersome for me, not really, because I'm mainly going to be displaying him with the jetpack. Um, and it's a, quite a nice, snug fit. You can, of course, rotate it a little bit if you were to choose to do so, but yeah, it fits quite snugly onto his back. Um, again, here he is his, I think, DC-17, DC-15, something like that. Uh, I will be correcting it uh, after uh, the review. Um, but yeah, in terms of his paint apps, he uh, has a couple of defects, unfortunately, um, which is a little bit hard to pick up on the camera right now, but he does, in fact, have a little bit of paint splotches. Let me see if I can dim it down. Here you can see it a bit better. He has some paint splotches on the right side of his helmet, slash left side if you were to look at it from the proper way. Um, he also, unfortunately, has a pretty major paint defect on his left knee pad. Bunch of paint missing over there, which, you know, in a way doesn't bother me as much because it could, you know, be passed up as battle damage, so where the paint's kind of scratched away. So, you know, it's all right. In terms of articulation, um, he has, or he is using the Captain Rex body. So that means the shoulder pads, if you look at them, they go into his torso when you move his arms out. And while we're at it, we're gonna go over articulation. Now, his arms go out this far, slightly past 90, which I think is pretty good because, you know, the shoulder pads are pretty big. 
He does have double jointed elbows, which allow him to have way past 90 movement, which is quite nice. He does have a dumbbell joint at the top of the neck with a, I believe, Tamara Morrison head sculpt underneath. Um, and he has a ball joint at the bottom of the neck, which allows for a good amount of movement, but he cannot look up that far because, you know, if you want to get him in a flight pose, it won't work as well as you might want it to be. But he has a nice amount of tilt, or at least nice enough for me. He can look down that far, which is pretty okay, I would say. Um, and that's it for the neck, I believe. I don't think I'm missing anything. He has the old torso, as you can see. The lines end right here. The new ones don't have that. So his belt obstructs his crunch forward, unfortunately. But he has some nice hula hoop action regardless. Can go back that far, if that makes any sense. Which also isn't as much, but... It, it's good enough for me. His legs go out. If you twist the armor a little bit, go out that far, which is pretty good, I must say, pretty good. And they go back, if you twist it that far, but it looks pretty unnatural. Um, and then in terms of that, he has double jointed knees, as you guys can see, by the pegs, which go this far, past 90 as well. Not enough to kick his own butt, but pretty good. Then he has, of course, the, you know, the feet. Uh, they don't go back very much because of the armor. It's hindering it a little bit. It goes far that much, also because of the armor hindering it. So there's not a lot of play here. But he has a forward-facing pin for rocker. So you do have a good amount of, you know, uh, ankle pivot, I think you say. And, um, yeah. That is the Jet Trooper. That's already it. There's not much else to it. Um, I find that he's a nice, uh, let's say, uh, nice combination of both the older parts and the newer parts of the body. Um, obviously, he's not perfect, um, but he looks goddamn fantastic. Um, I highly recommend, if you ever get the chance to pick this guy up, I highly recommend picking this guy up. Um, but don't pay scalpel prices for him. If you get lucky, try looking on eBay or on your GameStop. They should hopefully have some. I know that it's a bit difficult to get a hold of the Jet Trooper in the US at the moment. I was lucky to find him at my GameStop in Germany, which is where I live. And, um... I hope you guys can get yours. I mean, to be fair, I only managed to pick up one of them. If I could have picked up more, I would have. But that would have been too expensive for me if I had to pay the same price. But yeah, this is the review. It's been your casual clone. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that in the future, I can make reviews with a turning platform. But here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And I will see you guys in the next one. And until then, it's been great. See ya.